Hi, I'm Chris from DinoJet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your PCFC. I'm going to go to the website. I'm going to download and install the PCFC software. We're going to download the Power Commander 5 map files, and I'm going to show you how to load one of those into your PCFC. We'll get started by coming over here to the computer. Uh, we're going to open up our internet browser, and we're going to go to PowerCommander.com. We're going to click on the race ready side on the left and we're going to go to the download section. And we're going to go to Power Commander FC downloads. Here's the Power Commander FC control center software. We're going to download that. It's going to come as a zip, so we'll need to open that zip file. We're going to need to extract this setup file. Uh, just to keep things simple, I'm going to extract it to the desktop. And now I have it sitting here on my desktop. Just simply double click the file to run and install the program and follow the prompts to install. Now that the program is installed, I now have a desktop icon that I can use to launch the software and I can delete the setup file. So to launch the Power Commander FC software, just double click the icon or you can launch it from your start menu. And this is the main screen of the Power Commander FC software. At this point I'm going to go ahead and connect our USB cable. Our USB cable is now connected and it verifies it here at the bottom. It says device connected, map received successfully. If I get map, I can see what's currently in the unit. These are the two fuel maps preloaded into the unit from DinoJet. In map position one, we have a map for a 2009 to 2011 Yamaha R1 stock exhaust, stock or aftermarket air filter. Here in map two, we have the same stock exhaust and stock or aftermarket air filter for a 2012 to 2014 Yamaha R1. Going back to the Power Commander website, I'm going to download all available maps for a 2012 Yamaha R1. So here on the Make, Model, and Year drop-down menus, I'm going to select Yamaha R1 2012. I'm going to download all of the Power Commander maps for this bike model. This is the map list of available maps, 001 to 008. I'm going to download all of them. We'll need to run this file. Now the program has extracted all available map files for 2012 R1 into a Power Commander 5 maps folder inside of the documents directory. So now to open a new map file, I'm going to select open map. I'm looking for Power Commander maps, so I need to change the files of type to Power Commander. I'm going to go into the documents directory under Power Commander 5, Maps. And here's the eight map files that I just extracted. Let's say hypothetically we have a Graves full exhaust system on this bike. So we're going to open up the Graves full exhaust map and we're going to send map. We're going to send that into the device. It's now going to prompt us which map position we'd like to send to. Position 1 and position 2 are currently occupied. All the other map slots are empty. I'm going to select position 3. So now, on the tree view of our map file, we can see map position 3 is the Graves full exhaust map. So now we have our Graves full exhaust map file for a 2012 R1 loaded into map slot 3 of the unit. All we need to do now is just make sure that our base potentiometer is set to map number 3. And if you want to run strictly on that map file, your low, mid, and high adjustments need to be set to zero. And if you want to make any further adjustment to that map file, you can do so right here on the faceplate potentiometers. You can add and subtract plus or minus 10% to the low, mid, or high RPMs. Mm -hmm. 